असलम गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम बैक विथ डॉक्टर रोया रोजैटी मैम तो आज हम डिस्कस करेंगे मेल इनफर्टिलिटी जो आजकल बहुत कॉमन चल रहा है तो उसके बारे में मैम से हम पूरा डिटेल में डिस्कस करेंगे चलिए Good morning, ma'am. How are you? Good morning, Aisha. How are you? I'm, I'm fine. Good. I'm very happy. You have taken a very important topic, which is very close to my heart, and we have a very rich experience in this uh, aspect of the male infertility with regards to the con, with regards to the motility, and also with regards to the diagnostic aspect, and also with regard. Uh, to basically the treatment and the success cases which we have achieved so far okay ma'am so ma'am first uh, question what is male infertility ma'am because it's a common thing which uh, people not digest this thing first thing they don't accept this male so what is this actually yes you are telling absolutely very correct statement because men are men and they never accept that there yeah. is a problem with the semen count of course this is also very ego issue and we advise the couple uh, especially the wife not to discuss about her husband problem with any of their relative because we don't want to cause any psychological negative impact on the mind of either of the couple uh, nor on the husband uh, neither on the wife So now let us start from the aspect of what is male infertility. First we should know what is the normal count. I asked for the WHO criteria which is being set in 2010. The normal count which is 14 million per ml and approximately the total more motility which is a slow progressive and forward progressive motility should not be less than 40% some school of thought say 32% and there should be at least 4% normal morphology and also uh, no this is the normal criteria for a normal uh, semen analysis and there should be also agglutination not there there should be also not more than one postel per hive over field should be there the only one is allowed uh, means pyospermia we have to also check these are the normal criteria okay if we go to the more details of the semen analysis it is also very important to know that dna fragmentation test it is there where it should not be more than 30% dfa and this is also because of pollution because of the poor diet because of the sedem sedentary uh, sitting position and low activity lack of activities and also is because of the pollution and because of the nicotine because of the smoke uh, hookah and other things all kinds all kinds it can all be a problem uh, ma'am iske kuch treatments ma'am male infertility ki Yes it's basically we have to give the advice to the couple that they soon the diagnosis of male infertility is being made soon they should come to the infertility expert because giving a treatment and medical tablets and medical treatment it's not so effective because male infertility can be only dealt by infertility expert where either IUI should be done for a mild oligospermia or if there are any severe oligospermia or if there are azoospermia then the icsi should be done okay. with regards to the iui if the semen count is less than uh, let's say about 10 million 10 to 12 million and it will go up to 5 million iui can have a good success rate and it is the success rate of iui is 15 to 20% per each cycle the success rate it is very important depends on the age of the wife the more wife is younger the more success is better and at least 5 to 6 cycle of the iui to be done to get a good success we call it as a cumulative success rate where it will go to about 50 60% wife should be you know prepared by giving her a tablet doing a follicular study seeing the follicle and giving the hcg injection 
on the next day uh, 24 hours later after SCG injection, IUI should be performed. An IUI decant after the swim up also should be more than 1 million per ml. It means there is a good success, or if it is less than 1 million per ml, the concentration of their washing and preparation for the IUI, then it is uh, success rate will be less. Then it is important to refer them in a very early time for ICSI. Okay. Ma'am, any precautions should they take during the treatment? Precaution means they should have abstinence at least before IUI for three to five days. Okay. And as I told you, a lot the preparation depends on the basically a, uh, correct timing for follicular study, correct timing for the giving the SCG injection, and correct timing for doing the IUI. Uh, of course, there are you know the different protocol where it is after 36 hours or after 34 hours they do the uh, IUI but our center we do after 24 hours and we have Initially. a very good success rate yeah I have seen so many success many, stories many many success cases yeah. out there. so uh, can it is very interesting for you and for other patients to know that many corporate hospital who fail in their IVF, they come here yes, patient yes. and they get success with only yes. IUI. So that is one of the things which we have, we are achiever in that. Yeah, we have seen that ma'am, so many earlier cases we have seen that. So ma'am, any, uh, any message you want to give The to message MH? is early referral. Okay. The, the men, they should not feel delicate that, oh, I have a problem. This is not a problem. This is a very, very well recognized common problem and they should also not keep on sharing with their relative. They should share with only the infertility expert. They should re be referred very soon to us to start the early treatment when the wife is young. When the wife become old, then it's very difficult. Okay. Please share a uh, recent success story with us, ma'am. Just we had a recent case where uh, she had a failure from topmost they say they are topmost corporate where IVF uh, was done. Yeah. Uh, ICSI, I, of course, and patient had spent a huge amount, uh, seven to eight lakhs she spent. And then oh. they said that uh, both semen, husband semen is a problem and the wife egg is a problem. She came here and we did the laparoscopy and the next cycle of the laparoscopy, we did the IUI and she got blessed with the baby. Yeah. Miracle Roya, ma'am. Yes, of course, we are very happy that we are giving a very good service yeah. to the needy people of the Telangana and uh, people I am the example of that, ma'am. Oh, you don't need to mention. <laughs> no. You are like an angel for others. And Thank for you so service. much, ma'am. You are a miracle angel for everyone, ma'am, who are Thank seeking you. for children. Thank they you. must have to visit MHRT. Thank you. Very Thank you so much, ma'am. It was an awesome session with you. Inshallah, we'll meet you soon with other topics. Thank you so much.